In this video, I will show you how to build your own Wi-Fi enabled LCD cube or clock or whatever you want to call this thing. I built this a few days ago and presented it on my Instagram channel. And although it's a very basic device, I still got a few requests to do a tutorial for this. So here we go. Currently, it shows you the time and date as well as the Wi-Fi signal strength in the bottom right corner. There's a USB cable on the back and that's it. So how can you build something like this? If you're here just for the list of parts and their sale files, then skip this video and follow the links in the description. Else, you can continue watching. Instead of starting at the bottom and assemble parts and components, I will do the opposite. I will show you how to take this thing apart and disassemble it as much as possible. Then we can see what it is made of, what the names of the components are and so on. This is exactly what I do when I think of something new that I want to build. I see the finished thing in my head, disassemble it to see what it could be made of, where things need to be placed and then do the opposite on my desk with a bunch of tools to build it in real life. So let's take it apart. First, we take out all the screws and put them aside. We can measure them to see what size they are and write this down. Once the front and back covers are off, we can see how the LCD is attached with another set of screws to the front panel. We repeat our process by removing the screws and taking notes. The LCD panel is attached to the blue PCB thing that is plugged into a USB cable. There's another PCB thing that is attached to this one, which is attached to the back panel with two screws. Once we have removed the case from the components, we have a mess of cables and three modules. We can follow the cables and make a table of how they are connected. Now that we know how every Thing is connected, we can remove the wires. We can write down the length of the wires in case we want to rebuild this. Now we are left with three components. This is a Nokia 5110 display module, which we could see from the outside and which has a resolution of 84 by 48 pixels. We can see the labels of the pins suggest that this display is connected via SPI. Next, we have an RTC module, a real-time clock, as well as a small battery to keep counting seconds while everything else is switched off. The pins suggest that this is connected via I2C. This is the D1 mini module that comes with an ESP8266 microcontroller. This is the thing that reads and writes the time from the RTC module and displays it on the LCD screen. The tiny antenna is the Wi-Fi antenna. Now that we know what the hardware is made of, we can do the same with the source code. Because the code is using the Arduino framework, we start by looking at the setup function. We can see the initialization of the serial interface and passing this onto the Wi-Fi library for debugging. The initialization of the display and the I2C interface, some code to print debug info via the serial interface, a comment that shows us how to set the date of the RTC module, and a small check that makes sure that the RTC module is running. Then we continue with the loop function. We can see how to get the time from the RTC module, the screen buffer is cleared, how to draw the day of the week, the date and the time. Then we have a check to see if we are connected to the Wi-Fi and to draw the signal strength and how to send the buffer to the display module to actually show the buffer's contents. Finally, we have a check of the Wi-Fi connection and a delay that sets our refresh rate to two frames per second. What is left is the helper functions to create the respective strings and to draw them into the buffer and the necessary library objects that do the actual work of getting the modules to work. Luckily, I use a versioning system, so I can easily revert the changes I did to the code, which means for the hardware part, I'll be busy using my wire wrapping tool to connect everything again, using my notes as reference. If you have any questions about this, feel free to use the comment section Hit subscribe to catch the next episode and see you next time. Thank you very much and have fun.